Yeah, I, when I when we when we uh, first talked about doing this episode, the first movie that came to my mind was the number one pick that I'm gonna name now. It's a uh, movie Twelve Years a Slave. It's from the director with the, the famous name, but not the same guy. He's also famous, uh, Steve McQueen. Uh, um, there are two Steve McQueen for a while. You listen yeah, to yeah, but, for a while. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, there are two. Of course, there are two Steve McQueens in the world. Uh, the old one and the new one. Mm. Does Those he still live? The, the... the other one? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Mm. He played in uh, Papillon. Okay. I think the oh, other yeah. one. Oh, yeah. That's just funny that the, the name lives on through through a new director with a different kind of movies and yeah. Also, uh, 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 I think this movie won several Oscars. I don't remember. I didn't, I didn't look that up. I yeah. forgot to do this. But um, uh, I think he got a, uh, as a director. He got the Oscar I think, for this movie. And uh, yeah, the movie is. A very long, uh, very impressive movie. It's with a lot of, lot of good roles, uh, um, uh, and the movie is about uh, um, a free. Uh, good start. Of, uh, number one. It's really long. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's like a, it's it's a very epic uh, story, and the movie is made uh, in a uh, in a way. I guess it starts slow, which I really like. It's 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 a long, told story, but. It, it doesn't get boring any second of the movie. And that's very okay. impressive. Um, uh, yeah, Steve McQueen, for me, made a huge impression with this movie. Uh, the story is about um, a free African-American man from the north, I think, in the Washington area, uh, the state of Washington, not the city. Uh, he gets kidnapped and he gets sold to uh, 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 a white farm, I think, somewhere in Mississippi, Louisiana. I don't know, I should give you more. And uh, so he becomes a slave. The movie is called Twelve Years a Slave. So he is uh, was born a free man, and he becomes kidnapped. So he, he and he turns to be uh, he has to suffer and be and, and be twelve years a slave. Uh, the movie shows you from a different point of view because normally it's uh, it is a movie about slaves. It's just like it tells you a story from the slave itself. Now it tells you a story from a man that actually had freedom, and 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 sees how his brothers and sisters uh, are suffering in the south of America. And uh, uh, in the beginning, of course, he tries to, yeah, everything possible to just prove that he wasn't a slave. He was a free man. He's from the mm. north. And of course, no one takes him serious. And because he's trying so hard, he gets beaten more. And they take out the whip for him uh, several times more than, than he maybe would have suffered before. And he has to work on uh, the, the, the horrible cotton fields, of course, in the south. and. Uh, yeah, uh, the actor itself plays ridiculously good. Uh, I forgot his name. Really, really bad. It's, it's a true. It's uh, a true story, right? Or yeah, it's based on a slave yeah. memoir, uh, uh, Twelve Years Slave by Solomon Northup, um, and it's um, um, the screenplay was written by John Ridley, uh, um, and um, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. So Solomon Northup is played by Shiwatel Asiofor. I say it correctly. I hope. He's a very big actor now. He also plays like yeah. a movie like Doctor Strange and then uh, several other very big movies. Uh, and he was very impressive in my opinion, but the most impressive in this movie uh, was Michael Fassbender. Uh, oh, he yeah? Plays, I didn't yeah, know he was he, in this. I didn't know Brad Pitt was in it, but... Yeah, Brad Pitt has a very small role in my opinion. I think also he has like only a couple of scenes. Uh, I didn't understand why, to be honest. Like I didn't understand why. He yeah, such I, a I big think name. he was actually. I think he was a producer on this movie, executive producer. Maybe so probably story, exactly. He yeah. just wrote yeah. in a little a little role for himself. Well, it was it was for me a bit of strange because he had the same accent a bit uh, that he used in Glorious Bastards, which is a, okay. a, a turn off for me. Like, hey, why is this guy selling in this movie? Because I really respect him as an actor, but. It didn't match for me why there's a need for him. Maybe because he was a producer, right. is what you say. Uh, no, Michael Fassbender is, was even more impressive than any of the other stars, but just because the fact that he had to play that over-the-top racist, hating... Okay. Uh, 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 I don't know what the word is in English. Slave driver? It's not a slave driver, but slave driver? Or... Yeah, I don't know what the name is. No. English now. So, but he has to. He's the one that has to apply the whip on uh, the main character of Solomon, and he does it in such a way. And and I saw interviews with him, but hey, they asked him, "How is it for you to do this?" Uh, it yeah. was very hard, apparently, which I, we can all imagine. I think. Uh, um, 
It's also not the kind of role for him because normally he plays the no. hero a bit. Well, yeah, yeah, the yeah hero, or is it, but, not uh, the XMB, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Um, why the, the to be honest, I have seen this movie, I think, uh, a year ago or two years ago. I don't remember exactly when it came out. The the, 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 the story itself, I don't remember so much the story. No, no. The, the main thing is just like, uh, uh, which also doesn't matter. The main thing is just you really so see a man suffering. You see how the slaves in those times were, were suffering. You see the, 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 the pure hate. And, and not even it's not it's 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 a, it's a mixture because you you, you realize that for instance the, the role of Michael Fassbender is a is a character that uh, uh, he does it because it's normal he doesn't do mm. it I think what what the movie shows in my opinion I don't think he does it because he really uh, uh, he just does it because it was normal in those times and it's what you were supposed to do he had to keep these people from like fleeing from escaping because always, they tried a lot of course to escape from 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 slavery. And especially from his farm, and uh, uh, it's just they, they tell you a story that this was these were the times, and 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 uh, uh, there's no escaping from it, even for a man that was was free, you know, and he got kidnapped and he got caught and sold. Uh, yeah, the the, the um, it's a bit of a strange. Uh, uh, in a way, I felt also a lot for the white man, which is very strange to say, maybe. Hmm. That's why I think the movie is so good, and also especially like yeah, you have a, a, oh, like yeah, a writer telling the story. Yeah, and that's then what and then say, of course, that the greatest villains are the villains that that are still human. Yeah, and the thing is, like the worst man was Michael Fassbender's character in the movie, but you felt for him because he simply also he had no clue, and right. he was uneducated himself, and 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 you know he wasn't anything different from the people that he was treating so bad. And there were moments that he realized, and maybe had like, had like moments of glimpses of uh, empathy, but because uh, he, he was in love with one of the, 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 the women there. Uh, but of course, it wasn't allowed, you know. And, and for me, there were also a lot of similarities with, uh, um, the, yeah, maybe it's very strange to say, but for me, this whole uh, slavery, racism thing in America, for me, always makes parallels in my mind with some, some stories that you hear from, of course, the Jewish uh, uh, mm. suffering in the Second World War. And because also they were mainly because they were also seen as something that is less than human. Yeah. Now they were also yeah. lower in, in in terms in the view of the of the other person that was in charge. And there is a scene uh, in the movie machine at least with where Ralph Fiennes is the 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 commander of that camp, and he has this Jewish girl that uh, is doing uh, um, it's like a maid in the house, and she also has to uh, help him bathe, and she's like also a slave, of course, you know, and. Yeah. He also falls in love with the bird. Also, he knows he cannot because yeah, he, they will kill him or fire him or whatever. And it's the same with Michael Fassbender in his movie. So you you, you feel for them, even if you also completely hate them and despise mm -hmm. them. And yeah, I think that the, the um, uh, um, it shows you the simplicity maybe of of. It's a very big problem, and somehow they, they, they put it down in a couple of like real life stories. And of course, this man in the end, uh, 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 um, uh, he turns free again. And uh, um, yeah, it's just he makes a huge problem and he shows you all the big uh, facets uh, of that. Uh, but somehow he turns it in really small person stories. And I think they're late no. strength of this movie. And that would make yeah, the most yeah. impression on me, I think. No. Yeah. You also seen Sven? No, unfortunately not. No, me neither. Oh, you okay, would, you would, you would a, uh, find it It's a recommendable, yeah. 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 But you first went. Yeah. yeah. You want to show, show we end it with a clip? Yeah. Creek is plenty deep enough to sail, even with a boat full of load. Different from the work area to the point on the ladder bayou is several miles by water fewer than that. It occurs to me that the expense of transportation would be materially diminished. Materially diminished? If we use the waterway. Are you an engineer or a nigger? Scumber bitch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the middle engineer one. Engineer or a yeah. nigger? Yeah. And the other guy's also a famous actor. Mm. It's a scheme. Plenty name, but... of engineers have schemed similarly. The passes are too tight. I reckon I'm more than 12 feet at their most narrow. Wide enough for a tub to traverse if a team of niggas cleared it out. And you know what of transport and terraforming? 
I labored repairing the Champlain Canal on the section over which William Van Norwood was superintendent. With my earnings, I hired several efficient hands to assist me and entered into contracts for the transportation of large rafts of timber from Lake Champlain to Troy. Well, I'll admit to being impressed, even if you won't. Collect the team and see what good you can do. Yeah, New Orleans scenery. Mm -hmm. Blues. I love it. the beautiful scene. Yeah. yeah. I've been on the water. The area. Really? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Swamp. Glad you are a marvel. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> thank you, Master Boy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to show this clip because uh, this is a more lighter part of the movie. That, uh, of course, it was a free man. He also was a. a an educated man, and he uh, uh, succeeded several things in his life, of course, before he got kidnapped. So he had to become this slave that, of course, had, like an animal, didn't know anything, and was stupid, and had to be treated like shit. And he's trying to, he was, he was in the beginning fighting a lot against it and, and trying to prove to him still that he was this guy from the north. And the only thing that happened was he was beaten to death almost and, and with a whip. And now he found his way. The character of Benedict Cumberbatch is one of the, the, the employees of my past band's character. Uh, or maybe partners, you say, and he found a way to okay, they don't, they will never believe I was free, but at least I can show them that I am an uh, uh, educated man, I know how to do certain stuff, and they accepted here a little bit. And the other guy was still really struggling, like, ah, what do you know? And of course, the horrible word. And then, uh, uh, yeah, it shows you a little bit how he, he could persuade this man to trust him and to show that he's more than just what they yeah. think of me, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. That's a very nice movie. Yeah. yeah. 12 Years of Slave, your number one. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and help us out grow the channel. And then uh, we see you next time.